dear students so in this video we will see the how the analysis and design of industrial building subject load is uh, in, in stat pro vi software okay, so i am opening my stat pro software here so go to new project and click on space click on meter and uh, create it in your minutes minutes in your file name of your is okay, wind load next then go to add beam finish okay. now this is your graphical user interface of that pro okay just taking some time okay. now keep your structure in front view okay now we have our 10 meter width in uh, length x direction now i have our industrial building of a width 16 meter so i have to add here of six more meters so what i have to do click on edit option on snap node beam command so edit it and in x direction it is 10 say it is 20. so you see here it is not 20 that's okay Yes, so this is all now. now we have our snap node command on. Now click on zero here and we are plotting here our columns. Okay, so he, these are your columns, which is seven meters. Okay, then we are having a eight meters at midpoint, and this is our rafter portion. Okay, now it's for 16 meter again. This is your another rafter. Okay, click then down to your 16 meter press escape okay so click on the snap node beam command and your default grid lines hide itself okay now this is your column portion this is your rafter okay or your you can say your tapered section but in industrial building this is usually known as rafters okay uh, and this is a column of now what we have to do now select your two beams select your two beams these beams okay and we are going to insert nodes in between them okay so this is your insert node command click on this okay now it is asking add n points so if i am having if i am assuming n is equal to 5 in one beam then press ok so I have seen here, you can see here one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so these are your five nodes created in your each beam. And uh, now click uh, on your select all the structure by using your control A option. Now choosing all your structure by control A option. Okay, now we have to translate it in. So go to translate and repeat. Okay, so we have to translate in your Z direction. So Z direction. So whole direction is set. So this is the direction number of steps. How many times we have to translate it? We have to translate it five times and default step spacing is five meters. Okay, no problem. Click on link steps and I want to keep my open base. Okay, so click on open base structure okay, and press on OK. Now you can see your isometric view. So in this view, you can see all your uh, in Z direction. The, the it has been translated one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the distance between each uh, is uh, your five meters. Okay, so this is your uh, normally simply a model uh, is created or your from run structure wizard option or not from run structure wizard. And we have created it uh, in uh, by adding your beams or adding a snap node beam command. Okay, you can also use run structure command. Okay, uh, by going to geometry here and and run structure wizard. Okay, so now we have to add bracings in upper portion on roof or in side bracings. Okay, so what we have to do? Click on your admin command. This is our add beam option. 
and we just create your bracings here joining node to node okay if i am having alternate bracings alternate bracings here so you can select like this okay and we have to place bracing on another side also so what you have to do you have to rotate it by pressing control option and by using the keys okay downward keys or upward keys no keeping your control option you can place your placings on another side of so i'm alternating and placing my placings here okay. so go to your isometric view okay now these are your side placings we also want to add some bracings on the top okay so have our add beam command on so this is my top portion so placed it here so i'm placing in alternate direction you can place here as like this okay So I'm having this top dressings. You can refer it. Okay. Now we are done with all side dressings and top dressings. Okay. So these are your dressings, and uh, now what we have to do? We have to create our group name. Or respective columns and uh, tapered section that is rafter and your bracings and your beams okay these are your beams okay? or you can say your parallels okay but in this type we are calling it is a beam so here what uh, you go to your tools option okay in your tools you see your create new group okay so click on that and group name and uh, I have to specify my all the elements of the industrial building as my columns and rafters, then side bracings and your upper bracings and your beams. Okay, into individual that so that we can assign it later in a simple manner. Okay, so I'm considering in my columns. C O L U M N S. Here it is columns. So select is your beam so press ok now you see here columns group has been created now we have to assign it now go to select beams parallel to y so all your you can see here all your columns in my direction has been so associate to selected geometry okay now i have to associate these columns on your y direction so associate okay been associated okay now another one is create okay i have to uh, choose for your paper section that is your after okay so for that what we have to do we have to name it as after and uh, this is again my beam press on okay okay and for selection of your after you go to your top view okay now select your beam cursor so here you can choose all your paper section here by pressing control option control key okay now see your 3d view you can see here all your columns also have been selected by pressing your control option click on these columns to deselect it so 
okay now i have to associate uh, these as in your draft of course associated associate okay. now it has been associated after it has been associated to this i have to create for my beams also to create your uh, beams beams that is in industrial building it is your purlins okay so these are your purlins okay so these are your purlins and on the rafter it has it uh, i am having a cleat okay so on the cleat the purlins are holding each other okay and in that purlin in, in actual you see in purlins in between purlins we have our sag rods also okay so to prevent your purlin uh, from sagging so we are having a sag rods also in actual but right now i'm only simply developing my industrial building for your understanding purpose so select your type as type as beam also so okay beam now we have to assign our or your associate our beams so go to your select option and beams parallel to beams are in z direction this is z direction so beams parallel to z direction associate to selected property associate yes so beams have been associated now create for your bracings so i am considering here my top bracings and your side bracings as well so i am keeping as one so bracings and these are also your beam press ok you select your side bracings press new control option ok these are your bracing and this is your top bracing okay and this is your side bracing okay this is again your top bracing side bracing sorry this is your top bracing again this is your top bracing Select all your bracings. Okay, so this is my bracing, bracing, and this is my side bracings. Ensure all your bracings have been selected. Okay, no problem. So associate to selected geometry. Yes, associate. Okay, now close it. Okay, now our group has been created. Close it. Okay, now we have created our groups for your uh, columns and uh, your rafters and your beams and your bracings and your bracings and your uh, lower bracings. Okay, now what we have to do, uh, we have to uh, create, give their properties okay, for all these members. So go to your general option here. Okay, so go to your general option here click on your property okay now select here your section database okay so i am selecting section database here okay and it is taking some time you can see here it is not responding okay, no response okay now i am selecting columns as per your indian standards or indian standards so go to choose your indian course and in this we have a category like you have to choose this S shape, I shape, M shape, W shape, G shape, channel, angle, use of pipe. Okay, so in Indian, I'm having my uh, columns of uh, usually of I shape. You can choose yes for S shape. If I'm having a S shape column, then I would prefer I shape. You can choose any. Okay. So choose this depending upon you uh, what section you have to choose so if i'm having a s shape type column or you can simply choose your i shape okay and i shape of this type of section so choose on this and it is added here okay so first is your for columns okay now for your tapered section or for your rafter I'm having this ISHP 450 or you can choose 
if I'm having SMB 600 added okay now for your beams beams are also having a I section and if I'm choosing this as for beams then for your bracings okay uh, generally I am having a tube or pipe bracing okay so you can choose your strut pipe also so it is your pipe and you can choose your tubes okay so if I'm having or top and side bracings of this type section so add it close it okay now we have to select our first for column now choose click on this column and go to your select option and uh, select option you can see here by select by group name okay so click on group name click on your columns all the columns associated to it have been selected and uh, we have to assign to selected beams to assign it yes so all your columns has been assigned here okay with the properties of this now select your top member uh, rafter portion on your tapered section click on your rafters we you select your columns all the rafters have been associated to it are selected and uh, we have to assign to your selected beams to assign it yes so after that you have to choose your beams in z direction so choose your after deselecting rafters choose your beams in z direction okay so select assign to your selected beams so assign yes okay after that you have to choose your bracings select all your bracings and deselect to beams Click on your basin associated to it. All the bracings associated to this group have been selected. Okay. Now simply we have to the assignment method as your assign to selected beams. So assign yes. So all my elements of this industrial building have been defined and assigned. Okay. Now all the properties have been assigned here. Now we have to it in your 3d view okay this is a 3d isometric view this is a front view okay now what we have to do we have to make a support for these industrial frame okay so go to your support section create your fixed support this is your fixed support add it select your support by keeping your control option you can select both your nodes assign to selected nodes assign yes keep your structure in 3d view you can see all your supports have been assigned with fix support okay now this is our okay now we have to go to your loads and definition part so go to loads and definition part and click on load case details and we have to add our dead load live load and your wind load okay before Defining your wind load, we have to give our definition, wind definition in that. Okay. So click on load case detail, click on add option. Okay, now first I'm having our dead load, so it is DL dead load added. Now it is being added here. Now go to your live load. This is your live load LL. LL. Okay, add it. Define your wind load also. This is your WL wind load. Add it. Close it. Okay. Now in dead load, we are having a dead load. Select your dead load and add it. So dead load, I am having a cell weight of by direction. Weight factor minus one. So add it. Okay, in for live load, if I'm in the industrial truss, you are having a live load on the nodes. Okay, so I'm providing here a concentrated load on the, all the nodes. Okay, so for your of uh, if I'm having a 50 kilonewton uh, live load on the nodes, so what we have to do? So you choose your live load. Okay here and uh, you 
go to your front view okay now select your node cursor here select all your nodes okay then select all your nodes and uh, go to your isometric view okay now we have to we have to simply add your live load to all the nodes okay or you can have your live load to edit okay and live load as nodal load or nodes in y direction so i am having a nodal load of 50 kN so i am having a minus 50 kN edit close it okay we have all your nodes have been selected here so select your live load okay assign to selected node assign yes okay you can see all your nodes have been assigned to a concentrated 50 kN load okay so you can choose this here as your loads so it is simply your load okay this is your load okay you can click on this and it is looking like a load okay now go to your wind load before going to your wind load we have to go to your wind definition okay so we have to define our wind definition so select on wind definition edit okay now close it type 1 wind 1 edit close it select your type 1 wind 1 edit okay it is asking as your intensity or height okay so i can put here your manually or i can use your ASCE 7 Okay, so American Society Building. So if I am having an intensity of, of zero meter height at zero kilonewton per meter square, or I am having a five meters height of intensity zero point four five kilonewton per meter square, and for ten meters height I am adopting your point eight nine kilonewton per meter square, or you can say your point nine kilonewton per meter square. All these values have been raised uh, here by your uh, conventional method of your wind load calculation okay so you can refer your topography factor risk factor and all your terrain factor over k1 k2 k3 okay by selecting your structure where it is located and uh, i will uh, tell you tomorrow okay so if i was simplicity i am selecting here as i'm choosing as your calculator as per asce okay so you can see here your asce select your ASC load as 2010 category of category 2 if I'm having a basic wind speed of you can say 45 it is in meters per second okay, according to your IS 875 part 3 if I'm having an exposure category of B building structures so apply it okay now it has been applied now main building data we are having our main building height is your what is your main building height so your main building height is your 16 meters i think okay your uh, nine what is your main building height okay we have created simply so it is simply your eight meters or you can say nine meters it is in meters so you can refer as meters and building length along the direction of wind is I'm considering here it is your building length in direction of wind is 16 meters so it is in meters too and building length normal to the direction of wind is 25 meters it is in meters building natural frequency by default it is 2.01 for should be enclosed so apply it okay go to your building design pressure okay so it is backward direction okay no problem so these are your intensities as per your height okay so i'm having a 0 and 0 0.8 kilo newton per meter square as per my asc criteria okay this is different for different users okay as per your indian standard of is 875 part 3 we can choose where this value of intensity comes okay so i will tell you tomorrow okay so these are your edit okay intensity has been added here and the exposure factor usually we 
keep this value as one so keeping your win exposure as one so add it here close it okay go intensity choose the exposure so assign to view exposure is assigned to whole view so assign it yes so exposure has been assigned it to one to whole structure okay now win definition for this assign yourself it so assign Select your cell weight in where direction, assign it, yes, okay, so our live load has been assigned, set load has been assigned, now come to your wind load, okay, so select your wind load, add, okay, go to your wind load option here, okay, so here I am having a windward phase of x direction, factor of 1, of minimum range, uh, generally, industrial shades uh, as IS 825 part 3 refers to uh, up to a height of 10 meters, it is constant, okay. And uh, after that, the effect of this wind has been reduced. So, but I'm now here for, uh, right, for simplicity of our better understanding. I'm considering my minimum value as 0 meters, okay. So, you can see the how the wind is affecting your uh, columns also, okay. Uh, Including of the roofs. Okay, so generally we are having a uh, buildings of more than ten meters. Okay, then the effect of wind is uh, significant. So I am considering here a wide range value of minimum zero meters, so maximum of having uh, nine meters. You can say so factor of one. Say uh, added. So it is being added here. Okay, so you can see here. And we have to add in your negative direction also. So put here your negative sign with exposure of okay x direction and factor of minus one. So here also you can add it. Similarly, we have to apply for z direction. Okay, so factor of positive one of zero to nine here add it, close it, and for z direction also factor of minus one zero to nine add it. Close it. Okay. Now you can see here all your wind load has been defined here, and you can see how the wind load is affecting the industrial structure. Okay. You can see here wind load for positive x direction. Okay. So here you can see your negative, then you can have your wind load for z direction. Oh z direction with minus one factor okay so by this way you can see here all your variations are linear here okay so up to the height of 10 meters now generally we are having a variation of okay so these are your all your wind loads okay i'm considering here selecting a load case for adding your load combinations so define your combinations so i'm having a factor or default factor of 1.2 okay so 1.2 dead load plus 1.2 live load plus 1.2 wind load okay if, if i'm having case like this select all your available load cases click on right side and i'm having a factor of 1.2 1.2 1.2 okay so add it and close it okay you can see your factors have been dead load factors have been assigned or defined here okay these are load case combination okay so load and definition part is also completed here okay now what we have to do we have to simply assign or analyze our structure so for that uh, go to analysis or print command so click on print no print add it close it okay so go to analyze run analysis save so we go hope for zero errors okay if i we have to uh, we have done our work correctly then it is of zero errors okay so you can see here it is zero errors and zero warning and go to post processing mode so keep on done so select it is dead load apply here okay so this is your displacement part okay and uh, you can so, and you can see the beam shear force bending moment and everything you can see here so this is a shear force 
okay diagram and this is our pending movement diagram okay so choose your displacement select and go to results part select your view value select your beam results go to your displacement maximum result and annotate it so you can see here all your displacements have been clearly defined or clearly showing you okay so close it simply now we have to design our building modeling also so go to stain modeling part so here go to your general part go to your loads and definition parts have been completed now select your material okay for designing select your material as a steel okay so assign to view so choose on steel and assign to view so assign yes you have made a change to the structure as well. do you want to delete all the result files yes i have to delete so all the materials have been uh, assigned to your whole structure okay now we have assigned your materials now we can design it okay now you can design here and uh, you can define your parameters for designing okay so you can choose your importance uh, is your h by ld that is build strength of steel so this is your f by ld okay so yield strength of steel normally it is your 248 213 kilonewton per meter square but uh, we are having a grade of 01000 kilo newton per meter square so i am considering here 01000 kilo newton per meter square of uh, yield building okay so yield strength of our industrial structure i'm uh, having a 01000 kilo newton add it close it okay so choose here you can choose your uh, building code or current code i am having a current code of asc so no problem delete it delete command yes okay so here this is also to be deleted delete command yes so here you can choose your building code design code or your we are having a is 800 2007 limited state design okay choose a limited state design okay now now define your parameter again now this is your parameter of hysd or you can choose your parameter of this is a FYLD, the yield strength of steel. Okay, I'm having a 41,000. 010,000 kN per meter square. Add it. Close it. Okay. Now this is a yield strength. Okay, select it. Per select parameters. Okay. So this is your parameters. So keep on available parameters. Use your FYLD this is your yield strength selected parameters okay now select your yield strength of steel okay now assign to view okay now we have to assign it assign yes so yield strength of steel has been assigned to whole structure okay now we have to go to your commands option so I'm having a check code edit Okay, fix group, group member, group, edit, member take off, edit, then take off, edit. You can choose all commands, close it. Okay. Now select a check code. Okay, now it has to be assigned to whole view assigned. Yes. Assembly group member assigned to view assigned. Yes. And steel member take off assigned to view assigned yes and steel take off assigned to view assigned yes and all the design commands have been assigned okay now again go to analysis and print add no print close it now go to analyze option run analysis save it okay so here you can see your design part of your how the industrial warehouse or your industrial building has been designed okay or analyzed so here you can see we have four zero errors and uh, 
this is taking some time okay so depending upon your configuration laptop okay here your computer here okay so just taking some time have patience Yes, so the output file done. So go to your results tab directly. We are having a steel design. Okay, so here you can see your industrial building having a steel design of all the members that we have chosen as ISWB 600 as again sections. The status it is your. These are your status these are your members or you can see refer to all these chosen code pairs we have simply choose our arbitrary values here so if you assign or sign your okay and keeping all the parameters by this way you can design your uh building okay. so you can see all your parameters okay <clears throat> so this is your by this way you can um, design your industrial building <clears throat> so you can see it is still take off all the steel or weight of steel have been completed here so it is it is 20 kilo newton still take off you can refer all your sections Okay, okay, so these are all your sections and total weight of your steel is 1870 kilo. So, by this way, you can design your you can see some of the members have been passed also. Okay. So, by this way, you can design or analyze your industrial warehouse. Okay, so thank you so much.